So now in our DAC and I.O. modules in Labview tutorial, let's see how we can use these uh, digital input pins. And as mentioned, when using the digital output pins, uh, basically it's the same pins here we have on the DAC device. We have this uh, port 0, which goes from 0 to 7, and we have port number 1, which goes from 0 to 3. And each of these pins can be either set or programmed in our lab program to be either input or output. But no, we are going to use them as an digital input pins. So let's see how we can um, do that in our lab uh, program. So let's start with the hardware setup and how we are going to test it. So basically, I'm going to use two digital pins now. I'm going to set up this first one as a digital output and the next one as a digital input and then adjust wire a wire from the output to the input so then I should be able when in my lab application set for instance this one to be true then I should be able to read the same value here so this should be true when I set this to true and I set this to false this should be sh should be false because these are wired directly together in a so-called uh, loop back test meaning when I output uh, signal either zero voltage which is false or five voltage which is true the same value should flow back in this digital input uh, pin like this so let's go to lab and see how we can uh, create this application so then we are back in lab here i have my front panel so far it's just a stop button and here is my front panel it's a empty by loop with a wait function on this stop button which is connected to the condition of the while loop. So now I need uh, to create uh, the rest of the uh, front panel. So I start with uh, using this, uh, this one. So this should now be either on or off or typically true. Or false. So this is um, a switch that you can either turn false or true. And then I use um, this um, numeric indicator. So this will be um, my digital output, which is then connected to port 0 and line 1. This will be my other one, will be my digital input. Uh, uh, yeah, the digital input. And this is should be now port 0. And, and uh, yeah, so this should be the first one. This uh, digital output should be port 0 and line 0. This one should be port 0 and line 1, like this. Now we are ready to start creating our um, application. So then I start using this DAC assistant. So first I need to create a digital output for this one. So then I select generate signal, digital output, line output, and then select port zero, line zero, click finish. And just use these uh, default settings, click OK. And then next I have this this one, which is here. It should be wired to this one. But as remember, we need to use this build array function. Since this is just a scalar boolean value, while this requires an array of booleans. So we need to wire like this. So this is the digital output, and now we need to create another DAC assistant for the digital input. So I put it here. And now we need to select acquire signal, digital input, line input, and then I select port 0, line 1, and click finish. Then we have these settings, just use the default settings here. I'll wait a few seconds and then I need to connect this digital input which is this this one to the data 
So this uh, output here should go to this one. And, uh, as you see, here are you have also different data types. So this is an array, this is a scalar, and then here I need to use this um, array function called array index. So the output data here should go to this one. And then this index, I right click, create a constant and just select zero and the output end should go to this one. So now when I turn this either true or false, then this part of the code is working. And then I should be able to read the same value here while using this part of the code. So to make sure that this is running before this part of the code, I will link them together, then I'm using this arrow out connecting to the arrow in like this. So now by doing that, I know that this part of the code will be executed before this part of the code. So now I can run it. I know I have wired digital pin port 0, line 0 to directly to the port 0, line 1 with one single wire. So when I run the application, set this to true. So basically we have wired according to this. So port 0, line 1 goes directly to port 0, line, uh, sorry, port 0, line 0 goes directly to port 0, line 1 with one single cable like this. So when this becomes false, this uh, should in, uh, input should be false and when the output goes true, this go should go true. So let's go back to the library program. So now when I run the program, this is false, this is false, when I set this to true, this becomes true. Set this to false, this becomes false, and like this. This is how you use the both the analog, uh, sorry, the digital output and the digital input on um, the duct device. Here you see a more uh, real life application of using these uh, digital uh, pins. This, um, in this case, this uh, digital input pin. So here I have wired a, a push button on my breadboard and connected it to the digital input on the duct device. And then uh, by creating a simple program in the lab view, when I click this push button, I should uh, see true in uh, lab view. And when I don't click it, it should uh, show false. And then basically this is the application for that. It's the same as previous examples. I use the DACA assistant. And then here on my front panel, I have an indicator to indicate if the, bu if the button is pushed or not. And then the output of the DAC assistant is an array. So then I need to use the index array. Here I also use the not function. So then here, when, when it's true here, it becomes false here. Or when it's false here, it becomes true here. And I have a wired according to this uh, diagram. So here I have the push button. I have used a pull up a so-called pull-up resistor of 10k. And then I have wired um, 5 voltage to the breadboard and through the uh, 10k resistor. And then it goes to the push button. And the other side of the push button goes to the ground. And then between the resistor and the push button, I'm wiring this uh, digital input uh, pin to the um, uh, duct device like this. So basically, uh, this function it will function like this uh, using this so-called pull-up resistor. Um, you can also use the built-in or internal uh, five point seven uh, kilo ohm pull-up resistor. Then it's easier to wire it than you just wire it from the from the ground to the um, push button and on the other side directly to the digital input like this. So either using the built-in 
uh, pull-up resistor or create an external pull-up resistor like this. There's not all uh, duct devices that has a built-in uh, pull-up resistor, so typically you may need to have this wire instead. And then by using either the, uh, an external or the internal pull-up resistor, the circuit works like this. So when you when uh, you don't um, push the button, it, the signal will go from 5 voltage to the direct to the uh, digital input port, and then this indicates true 5 voltage. When uh, you push the button, then uh, the signal will go here from ground to the digital input, indicating a false or a voltage value of zero. So here, false, there's flowing no current here and the voltage value will, will be zero. Then the push button is open, the circuit or the current will flow here, indicating 5 voltage and true. So let's see how this is done in, in the lab program. So here's the lab program, here's the front panel, just an indicator to indicate if the button is pushed or not, so this is becomes either true or false. And then you have the while loop, here I have the DAC assistant that are reading the analog input uh, from the DAC device. Um, uh, I'm also need to use this uh, NOT function because as mentioned here, when I'm uh, not pushing the button, the, uh, the input will be true. When I push the button, it will be uh, false, but I want the opposite reaction, so I want uh, this one to be true when I push the button. So let's just run it. I know I have wired a um, push button on my breadboard, so now I'm not clicking on it. Now it's indicating false. The button is not pushed. Now I'm clicking the button, and now you see this becomes true. I'm releasing the button, and then this becomes false. I'm clicking the button, it becomes true, etc. Now I'm clicking the button, releasing the button, like this. So this is a basic uh, practical example of, uh, the dig of the use of the digital input pins. We have just connected a basic push button to this digital input pin. So in uh, this tutorial I was showing how to use the digital input pins on your DAC and I.O. modules in uh, LabVIEW. While in other uh, tutorials in the same series I will show how to use the analog output pins and the analog input pins and the digital output pins. But that's uh, all for now, so thank you and goodbye.